Cotard syndrome, a disorder where those affected believe they are dead, don't exist, or have lost their blood or internal organs. It is also sometimes called walking corpse syndrome. With Cotard syndrome, you'd often experience severe depression with delusions. The main delusion is an extreme belief that they or parts of their body are dead, rotting away, or do not exist. Some people think they have lost their soul or vital essence. They may try to throw out their possessions, stop eating and drinking, or even try to disprove their existence by injuring themselves without pain. Some feel immortal. Some lose interest in and withdraw from loved ones because they no longer believe they or their family is real. Munchausen Syndrome Munchausen Syndrome is where a person repeatedly and deliberately acts as if they have a physical or mental illness when in reality they are not sick. People with this condition make up or exaggerate illnesses, seeking endless tests, procedures, and hospital stays, seeking the attention sick people usually receive. This often involves obsessive research on medical conditions and procedures, leading to anxiety and distress when their fabricated illness is questioned. Weirdly enough, they experience relief and satisfaction from gaining medical attention and sympathy, even if it comes at the cost of unnecessary medical activity and potential harm to their health. Bulimia Nervosa Bulimia victims often experience episodes of binge eating, during which they consume large quantities of food in a short period, feeling a loss of control over their eating behavior. Following a binge, they feel intense guilt, shame, and disgust about their eating habits and body shape. To cope with these feelings and the fear of weight gain, individuals with bulimia engage in purging behaviors, such as making themselves vomit, misuse of laxatives, or excessive exercise. It's a disorder that consumes thoughts, emotions, and relationships, leaving individuals feeling isolated, ashamed, and overwhelmed. Oppositional Defiant Disorder This is mostly a disorder diagnosed in children. Children with oppositional defiant disorder show a pattern of uncooperative, defiant, and hostile behavior toward friends, parents, teachers, and other authority figures. They are more troubling to others than they are to themselves. A parent may ask a child to clean their room, and instead of simply, okay, there's an instant response, a rude look, and maybe even some stomping of feet. It's not just about being difficult, it's a response that feels almost automatic. In a way, it's like having a rebel without a pause button. It's not just about challenging rules, it's a whole mindset, a way of interacting with the world that's characterized by defiance, stubbornness, and a persistent refusal to toe the line. Olfactory Reference Syndrome People with this have a fixed belief that they emit a foul odor, despite no evidence. This belief leads to obsessive worry and distress, causing them to engage in repetitive behaviors like excessive showering or social avoidance. Individuals may constantly check themselves for any sign of odor, repeatedly shower or change clothes, and excessively use perfumes or deodorants in an attempt to mask the perceived smell. Due to the fear of being judged or ridiculed because of their perceived odor, individuals with olfactory reference syndrome may avoid social interactions, leading to isolation and loneliness. Rajoli Delusion It's when a person holds the delusional belief that different people are a single person who changes appearance or is in disguise. People who have this delusion believe that everyone they see is just one person posing as others. For example, they may think a stranger is a friend of theirs in disguise, or that various people they encounter are the same person transforming their look. Those suffering from the Frajoli delusion often believe the perceived single person is hurting them and out to get them. They may think people they know are merely actors. Their delusional belief makes them extremely suspicious of others and compels them to search for proof of their belief. Body Dysmorphic Disorder Body Dysmorphic Disorder BDD, is a condition marked by an obsessive fixation on imagined flaws or minor imperfections in one's appearance which are typically insignificant to others. Individuals with Body Dysmorphic Disorder excessively focus on specific aspects of their appearance, such as their skin, hair, nose, weight, or body shape, believing that these features are flawed or abnormal. Mirrors become both a source of torment and a constant reminder of how ugly they are. They may spend hours judging their appearance, engaging in rituals to hide or fix these flaws, and comparing themselves unfavorably to others. Agoraphobia 
Agoraphobia is an anxiety disorder with an intense fear of being in situations where escape might be difficult or help is unavailable. People with agoraphobia often fear and avoid situations like public transportation, enclosed spaces like movie theaters, and open spaces like parking lots or bridges. The fear is driven by worrying about having panic-like symptoms or embarrassing symptoms in these settings. People with agoraphobia may fear they won't be able to easily exit or get help if symptoms occur. As a result, they avoid situations where escape seems difficult. In severe cases, the person may become unable to leave their home altogether. Borderline Personality Disorder It is a mental health condition that has difficulties with emotion regulation, impulse control, and personal relationships. People with this disorder often feel emotions very intensely. Their emotions tend to shift frequently, sometimes rapidly cycling between sadness, anger, emptiness, and anxiety. Small triggers can provoke disproportionate emotional reactions. Impulsive behaviors are common in people diagnosed with this disorder. This may include reckless spending, substance abuse, binge eating, and even self-harm. These impulses are often coping mechanisms to deal with painful emotions. Diogenes Syndrome Diogenes Syndrome is a disorder that affects older adults. It occurs usually mainly in older men. The main symptoms are excessive hoarding, dirty homes, and poor personal hygiene. People with Diogenes Syndrome also withdraw from life and society. They often live alone and are unaware that anything is wrong with the condition of their home and lack of self-care. They display extreme self-neglect in terms of hygiene and appearance. They may look extremely dirty with long fingernails, dirty clothes, and greasy hair. Lacking shame or concern for social norms, they may urinate or defecate anywhere in their home, remain naked, or demonstrate other taboo behaviors. Weirdly enough, the home becomes a refuge and a prison, a place where belongings pile up unchecked and basic hygiene and cleanliness are neglected. Rooms become filled with newspapers, trash, and belongings stacked to the ceiling, creating an overwhelming and hazardous environment. Trichotillomania It involves frequent, repeated, and irresistible urges to pull out hair from your scalp, eyebrows, or other areas of your body. People who have this disorder may try to resist the urges, but they can't stop it. Now, we all tweeze stray eyebrows or pull split ends now and then, but for those with trichotillomania, hair removal becomes excessive, even to the point of noticeable bald patches on the scalp or eyebrows. Those with it may initially feel a tingling or itching before giving in to the urge to pull. Some describe entering a trance-like state while engaging in the hair removal ritual. The urge and resulting hair pulling can happen during times of both stress and boredom. Dissociative Identity Disorder It's when someone has multiple distinct personalities sharing the same body, often as a coping mechanism from trauma. Imagine having different versions of yourself taking turns interacting with the world. Interestingly, once it's your turn to be back in control, you have no memory of what your other personalities did. Those affected often experience memory loss between personality states and may feel like they have been taken over by other identities. These alternate identities are referred to as alters. Alters can have different ages, genders, personalities, and voices. Switching between alters is often triggered by psychological stress. The person may transition rapidly between identities in a matter of seconds. Hypochondria Imagine living with a constant, overwhelming fear of having a serious medical condition despite reassurance from doctors and negative test results. Every minor ache, pain, or bodily sensation becomes a cause for alarm, triggering a lot of catastrophic thoughts about potential illnesses or diseases. This paranoia and anxiety can lead to frequent doctor visits, extensive medical tests, and a constant need for reassurance that provides only temporary relief. People with hypochondria tend to misinterpret minor body symptoms and sensations as signs of a horrible disease even when medical evaluation finds no evidence. Examples include interpreting a headache as a brain tumor or seeing a small mole as skin cancer. Derealization Disorder This disorder occurs when a person often feels that they're seeing themselves from outside of their body or sense that things around them are not real or both. They may feel like they're living in a dream. 
Sufferers describe sensations of feeling detached from their own emotions, senses, and personalities. They may feel groggy, dreamlike, or as if they're just going through the motions of living. The sense of detachment can extend to friends and family who may seem unfamiliar. They might look in the mirror and feel like the person staring back at them isn't quite them, or they might see things happening around them but it feels like they're not a part of it, almost like watching a TV show instead of living in the moment. Dissociative Amnesia Dissociative amnesia isn't about simply forgetting things. You experience gaps in your memory like missing pieces of a puzzle from your life. This is what people with dissociative amnesia face. They experience an inability to recall important personal information often related to traumatic or stressful events. They experience sudden and unexpected memory loss. This can involve forgetting specific events, periods, or even personal details like their identity. Possible causes are usually severe emotional trauma, hence it becomes a protective mechanism. The mind may unconsciously block out traumatic memories as a way to cope with overwhelming emotional pain. Dermatillomania Dermatillomania is being trapped in a relentless cycle of compulsion and shame. Imagine feeling an irresistible urge to pick at your skin, whether it's a blemish, a scab, or an imperfection, despite knowing that it will lead to damage and potential scarring. The face, arms, and hands are most commonly picked at, but any body part can be affected. Skin picking is done in response to negative emotions, stress, or boredom and can provide a temporary sense of relief or satisfaction. Those with dermatillomania may pick skin for lengthy periods without realizing it and attempts to stop picking are usually unsuccessful. The cycle of picking and healing can lead to physical discomfort, skin infections, and long-term scarring, further fueling feelings of distress and shame. Erotomania Erotomania is a form of behavioral disorder in which an individual has an unfounded belief that another is in love with him. Previous case reports have shown that social media networks may play a role in worsening delusional beliefs. Erotomania is living in a world where reality blurs with fantasy and the lines between admiration and obsession become dangerously thin. The person with this disorder feels convinced that someone, often a public figure or someone of higher status, is deeply in love with them despite little or no evidence to support this belief. Individuals with erotomania may interpret innocent gestures or coincidental encounters as proof of the other person's undying love, leading to persistent attempts to make contact, declarations of affection, or even stalking behavior. Despite the lack of the same feelings from the object of their affection, individuals with erotomania may experience intense emotional highs and lows further fueling their delusional beliefs.